today is 24th of February. What brought me to central London during this very freezing weather in the morning is because this is the grand opening of Gibson Garage London, located in the heart of London. A stone's throw away from Oxford Street, it's the perfect location for tourists and locals to have the best Gibson experience. Let's go inside and have a look. Upon arrival, a giant Gibson logo will come into your eyes and then you'll see a sofa with Union Jack decoration which is very London inspired. On the wall, there are four guitar prototypes. The first one of course is the famous Tony Iommi, guitarist of Black Sabbath and his signature Monkey's SG. The second one is Johnny Winter's Firebird prototype and the next one is Kurt Hammer's signature Les Paul custom. The prototype of his signature guitar is basically a Les Paul custom but all the hardware are in black and have the pickup cover removed. And the next one is BB King's Life in Regal prototype. I think the color is really nice. And the first 20 lucky customers who bought this signature guitar signed by Noel Gallagher himself, Les Paul in black. On the wall, you see all classic Gibson design. So this is an SG with sideway terminal bridge. In my opinion, cherry is the best color for SG. And now we come to the Les Paul corner. Look at all the classic color and new colors. I love the maple frame top on the one in the middle. Here we have some very cool merch from Gibson. You have flags, car plates, mugs, and even some reclaimed wood from guitar production. So you have rosewood magnets and mahogany clock. And now we have another classic Gibson guitar design, ES-335, in sunburst with dot inlay. Now we come to my favorite part in the shop, Gibson Custom Shop and Murphy Lab. So here you got all the Murphy Labs, and here we have a wide range of choice of wood here. So you can pick your favorite top, and then you can have it sent to Nashville to make your own made to measure guitar. And of course, you can choose your customized trustword cover. They can even do this in store while you wait. You can also choose all the password guitars like pickups, pickup cover, harness, pickup rings, pick guards. Whatever you can think of. Put all your specs into the order sheet and they will order right away. It takes about 8 months for the delivery. I think it's relatively quick for a customized guitar. Here we have a wall full of Murphy Lab guitars. I really dig the gold top Les Paul with the check. I think the heavy age guitar looks really good. You are welcome to try all the guitars in the store, including this Murphy Lab guitars and even an expensive Peter Green signature. Every guitar here has its own character. I highly recommend you guys come and try yourself. One of the big features in the store is the conveyor belt. In the Gibson factory, they put all the guitars on the conveyor belt, either to dry it or send it to the next department. They first have this idea to put the conveyor belt in the Nashville Gibson garage, and now they brought it to London. T-shirts and merch are the big parts of the store, so let's have a look here. I've already got some of the classic design T-shirt, but I think some of the exclusive designs are cool, so let's check it out and have a look. Maybe I will buy a few, who knows? This is a Gibson Garage London with the headstock design. They got some cool sweatshirt and jacket, but I don't wear a sweatshirt that often, so I'm not buying this. And here we have some London Gibson Garage t-shirt. I really love this Gibson London with Union Jack, but they only come in white. Why does it only come in black? I want a black one, I really want a black one. And this t-shirt is not cheap though, it's 69 pounds. Now we have a Gibson Rainbow logo. It's cheaper, this one is 28 pounds. It's okay, but I think the Union Jack one is way cooler, but they don't come in black. And now we have this t-shirt with a pocket. I think Fender got this one as well, so now Gibson is following the full step. Okay, you got me. I'm taking this one. Caps again. But again, like, I'm not wearing caps, so I'm not buying. But I think it's good to have more choices in the store. 
I really love how they showcase the T-shirt here, so you can have a clear look on the logos and the design. I think the Epiphone one looks like a label on a beer bottle. More exclusive T-shirts, you have Union Jack Gibson Garage, and the next one is Gibson London. And you got the Gibson Garage London Headstock T-shirt again. Gibson CEO Cesar Gregian came for the opening as well. He's really nice talking to the customers. You can go hang out, have a chat, take some pictures. He's a really cool guy. Now we come to the other side of the store with more T-shirts. They've got kids wear as well, so you can rock with your kids. More t-shirts, more classic design. I've got the one on the right already. Vintage Epiphone logo. But I think this one looks like a righty tighty. I might be wrong though. Another cool design, a devil playing Gibson. But I don't like putting a devil on my t-shirt, so maybe not. Look at this miniature guitar. It's not cheap though. It's £70 each. But I think it's got more details than the one you got online or on the street. I think it's cool to have your actual guitar and a miniature version of your own guitar together in the same place. You can have your own personalized trustworthy cover. So you put your name or your guitar's name or whatever you want on the trustworthy cover. You name it, they make it. They make it in store while you wait. Gibson Director of Brand Experience Mark Agnesi is also here for the opening as well. Talking to customers, really cool guy as well. Here comes the acoustic section. I already spotted two or three lefties, J45, Hummingbird, etc. I think this is a very cool place to hang out, so you can actually come, play guitars, talk with your friends, talk to the staff, have a chat about music, gear, guitar, anything. It's a very cool place to meet your old and new friends. Now we're coming to the Les Paul corner. We've got Les Paul Special, Les Paul Junior, a 70 Deluxe, and all the Les Paul in new colors. But I prefer the older colors, like all different sunbursts, gold top, or even black beauty. I'm a guy with an old soul. And now they also bring back the Mesa Boogie in the UK market, so you can try the guitar with the amps, or you can try the amps with the guitar, either way. They turned the staircase into Gibson Gallery, now featuring photos from Gary Mankovitz. It pays tribute to the British music scene by showing some of the famous British bands, artists, and some people who made the name in London. Like Jimi Hendrix, Rolling Stones, Paul McCartney, Oasis, so forth and so on. So here we have Gibson's bass collection. I think Gibson's basses are not as famous as the guitars. Here we have some accessories for the guitarists. You've got cable, tuner, string, strap, all the pegs. It is good for guitarists to restock their accessories. You can also give this to your guitarist friend. They will love it. Okay, now we're heading downstairs to see what they've got in store for us. Again, the gallery is really cool. The first thing you have is a case corner. Here you can find all the official Gibson hard cases, protector, historic, original or modern. I have historic, original and modern. I think all are lovely, all are great, but I prefer historic and original because I think you know you can't go wrong with vintage five or Gibson guitar. The whole basement is dedicated to Epiphone. So you got merch, guitars, you got amps, you've got across the guitars in the middle as well. We've got some Epiphone signature guitars here, including the Tony Iommi SG. I've got this one in lefty. Here we have a wall full of Les Paul, a standard, TV yellow, and some lefties as well. There's a stage in the basement. They say they'll do more gigs or secret gigs or artists meet up here. Of course, they're using Mesa Boogie M's. On this wall, they've got original Epiphone designs like Coronet, Wilshire, Casino, Broadway, and Riveria. This one looks like a USA Epiphone Casino because of the black pickup cover. I've got one as well. Next to it, I think it's a ES349.
They've got casino in other colors as well, like this one in one olive. And I think this Riveria in white red is so cool. Oh yes, yeah, more lefty. This one is a Broadway. The accessibility is great, so even if you're on a wheelchair, they've got an elevator to bring you downstairs. Here we have SJ 200s. I've got the lefty ones. I want one with no cutaway like the one on the right. But they only got the cutaway one for the lefties, so I've got no choice. I really dig the run on the right. And there's a resonator as well. Now we come to the Epiphone bass collection. Again, they're not famous for the bass collection, but I think their Firebird bass and SG bass are cool, or some of the original design. You can try with the Mesa Boogie bass amp as well. Now we arrive at the Kramer room with the neon lights, cassettes, and arcade. It looks very active. I mean, when is the last time you played Pac Man on an arcade machine? Tell me. On the wall, they put a lot of cassettes. Some of them are in neon color. They say that this is the original color. So, some black, some neon red, some neon yellow. I think they've got the vibe so right. Keep time, banana yellow. Very active. Look at the pickups. Okay, no one can stop me from playing this RK Pac Man. On top, you'll see some small TV and a sticker wall. How many famous bands you can spot on this wall? They put 1,400 stickers on this wall. More than the one in Nashville, they only got 800. So again, they've outdone themselves. Okay, Pac Man, here I come. Looks like she is a Pac woman or Pac girl. They also play all the British music throughout the store. It's a nod to the British music scene. See the neon light, so cool, so active. Okay, what is made to rock hard? Such a cool name. So made to rock hard is actually their repair department. They've got in-house Luffy to maintain all the guitars in the store. You can also bring your own guitar for repair and service here. And I love all the details, like they're using an actual guitar neck as a door handle. Thanks for joining me for this tour in London's Gibson Garage in the first impression video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. My name is Herman. See you next time.